as we celebrate our bicentennial jubilee celebration, we commemorate our, our patron of the diocese, St. Vincent de Paul, we recognize uh, the Catholic presence in the Western Bikery of the Diocese. And we are part of the Bikery of the Western the Diocese of Richmond. That means that we have been established as a Catholic church uh, in uh, Rocky Mount, Virginia, and Franklin, uh, Franklin County as, as a part of the Catholic church that we as, as believers, uh, we celebrate our Christ's love, Christ's kindness among his members in the sacraments and also in the life of the faithful. And today's gospel and today's readings focus about this. What is the mission of the church? That we as a church, we are called by Christ to continue to spread out the gospel of Christ. That was the word that the disciples did in the beginning of their, their uh, there are ministry. They were sent out by Jesus Christ to proclaim the good news. And we have been done it here in the parish. Sometimes we, when we visit the people who are in the nursing homes, uh, those who need our prayers, we go out and reach them out and pray for them and, and bring Christ's love to one another. And doing God's word to our members, we recognize that we are not strangers, that we are one family, a Catholic faith family that we are called to support one another, to pray for one another, and to serve one another in Christ. That is our calling. What Paul said in the second reading to the Corinthians, our calling is to always be Christ to one another, to pray for those who are in need, to also support those who are isolated, those who are lonely, those who are sick, those who are poor, those who need our presence and our care. That is what the church is about. It's about loving Jesus Christ and see Christ in one another. But sometimes, you know that uh, and we have those, some challenges in our lives, sometimes in the church. Whatever the challenges are, the Lord reminds us that with Christ, we cannot do this. We cannot be disciples of Christ when Christ is not in our hearts. It's impossible because we don't recognize Christ in others when he had been recognized in our lives by ourselves. The question is, how this celebration help us to continue to carry out the gospel, whatever you are in life, as a married couple, as a, a, as a single person, as a widow, as a priest, and also as a community, that we recognize that we are Catholics by the way how we bring God's love, kindness, and mercy to one another. And also to support those who are in need. We have been done to that too, because we had a ministry in Haiti. We have been supporting Haiti ministry for the past, I think, a number of years. Uh, and also uh, supporting our, our local people, uh, paying rent and giving money for, for the poor. That's wonderful. That's great. But sometimes we need to do also something for ourselves. That we as a church, we also, we can do things together uh, that identifies us. That we are not only doing something for people outside, but we do also this for those who are inside. And this celebration uh, uh, of the Byzantinian uh, give us the, the inspiration of our patrons and means in the Paul. Who, who was a priest in, in France. Maybe you might know about the history of, of St. Vincent. He, he was a priest in, in, in France, and he was not really well educated in terms of learning Latin, and he was almost dismissed from the program, from the seminary. And God always works in a mysterious way. And he was ordained as a priest, and became the most profound priest dedicated his life to serve the people. He spent over 10, 12 hours a day hearing confessions. It was amazing. He was amazed. And people came from all over France to go to see him because they were longing for God's love and God's mercy. And the priest of the, of the Paul, he was reaching people and bringing people close to Jesus Christ. That is what the of the Paul for us give us the inspiration to also to be like him, to always be kind to one another, to always uh, show Christ's love to one another, 
and to recognize that we are Catholics by the way how we unite together and pray together and work together for our church and for our country. That we as a Catholics, we make the differences and allow our, our Christ to make us to be that, to be disciples and go out and proclaim the gospel of Christ. How we want to do this together when you are uh, with your family, when you are at work, with your co-workers, when you are at church, how you want to identif identify ourselves. We are not Catholic only when you, we can celebrate the Holy Eucharist, but because uh, we are only Catholics also when we show to others who is my Savior and to whom we are called to serve and to love. In that person is Jesus Christ. That will be called Christians because Christ calls us every single day and reminds us, remember, you are one of mine. You are not a stranger to me. I love you. You are my son and daughter. I call you. Like he calls me to the Paul to always do amazing things for others. Believe it or not, our church, our country, our families, and sometimes our hearts are longing for that truth, are longing for that love. How we want to encounter and meet with Christ face to face. We have the answer. Whatever is in your heart that speaks to you and to me who Jesus Christ is and how much we love Jesus. I know sometimes we have those moments, ups and downs, but let's pray for one another. Let's pray for our church. Let's pray for our bishop. Let's pray for our priests. Let's pray for all the lady. Let's pray for this parish <clears throat> that the Lord continue to bless us and guide us to do God's word and make the kingdom of Christ to be among us. And thank you for being here. Thank you for support this parish. Thank you for praying for me and praying for our community. Because this is who we are. This is who we are. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that great? That's why we are here. Because we came before the Lord to honor Christ and say, thank you, Lord, for calling us every single day to recognize that I am a man, a woman, I am a married man, I am a priest, and I am a community, that it is to this holy Eucharist and to this holy sacrifice that you call us to be an apostle for the gospel and be messengers of Christ. That whatever we do, always, always, always should reflect who is Christ and how we recognize Christ in one another. I know, this is, this is sometimes we have those moments, but be patient with yourself and bring all those things before the Lord in the Holy Eucharist and also in the Sacrament of Reconciliation. May this celebration uh, give us that kind of joy of being Catholic because we are so blessed to have a Catholic Church here in Rocky Mount, Virginia, and in Franklin County. Seriously, we, are, we don't know how blessed we are that we had the Holy Eucharist, that we had the sacraments, that we had the Mass. There are parts in this diocese of Richmond that people, they had to drive like 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, to go to Mass. We have it here closely. Sometimes we don't appreciate that. Let us, let's, be, let's, let's be grateful for that. And, and continue to ask the Lord to bless us and make us to be part of his kingdom in the church of the of Richmond and work for his kingdom. Whatever needs we might have in our church, in our community, we are called to serve, like the ministry of the Paul, to serve those who are in need and do it with love, with kindness and patience. When we do that, the kingdom of Christ is at hand, is in your heart, because we are responded to Christ's love and we did it with all our hearts. And I know it's a long journey, but we are not alone. Christ is going to be in our, in our midst. And please pray for me and also pray for one another that we all together recognize that we are Christians and Catholics by the way how we love Christ and see Christ in one another. God bless you.